Hello, this is Tyagarajan. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss how to solve the problems related to translation leukocyte buffer that is TLB. This is TLB and this is page table of TLB. If the processor has 32 bit address space, then that address space is called as virtual address space. The complete address space need not be alerted to the main memory. If there are 32 bit address space, then the main memory address space will be less than that. Here we have taken 28 bits for main memory address space. The virtual address space and the main memory address space will be divided into many pages. The size of the page in the virtual address space and the size of the page in the physical address space will be same. So, the number of bits used to access the locations in the page will be same. For example, here in the virtual address 0 to 11, that means 12 bits are used. Here also same 12 bits are used. But the number of pages in the virtual memory will be more, but in the main memory the number of pages will be less. So, it is necessary to translate the virtual page address to physical page address. For this TLB is used. So the main function of the TLB is to translate this 20 bit virtual page address to 18 bit physical page address. In short we can say that TLB is a hardware. It is a high speed cache that stores page table. It contains recently accessed virtual to physical address translation. If a physical address is given and if the corresponding main memory address is found in the TLB, then it is called as TLB hit. The TLB hit ratio is defined as the number of TLB hits divided by the total number of requests. The TLB hit time is nothing but the time to search in the TLB added with time to access the memory. The TLB miss ratio is nothing but 1 minus TLB hit ratio. The TLB miss time is equal to time to search in the TLB plus time to bring the new page table from the memory plus time to access the memory. Time to bring the new page table from the memory is equal to time to access the memory because the page table will also be available in the memory. So if there is any miss then the required page table should be brought to TLB. So the time taken for this is also same as the time taken to access the memory. The effective access time is equal to TLB hit ratio into TLB hit time plus TLB miss rate into TLB miss time. In short, you can easily remember this process by this formula. That is effective access time is equal to TLB hit ratio into time to search in the TLB plus time to access the memory plus TLB miss ratio that is 1 minus TLB hit ratio into time to search in the TLB plus time to bring the new page table from the memory plus time to access the memory. Now let us solve some problems. A TLB lookup takes 5 nanoseconds and memory access time is 100 nanoseconds. If the hit ratio is 80%, the effective access time is the options are A 105 nanoseconds, B 205 nanoseconds, C 84 nanoseconds, D 125 nanoseconds and E 105 nanoseconds. We have to solve this problem. The time taken to look up the TLB table is 5 nanoseconds that is given. Then the memory access time that is the time taken to get data from the memory is equal to 100 nanoseconds. The hit rate is given as 80 percent that means it is 0.8. If the hit rate is 0.8 then the miss rate will be 1 minus 0.8 that will be 0.2. The hit time for TLB is equal to time taken to look up the TLB table plus time taken by the TLB to access the memory. That means it is 5 nanoseconds 
plus 100 nanoseconds is equal to 105 nanoseconds. Then TLB miss time is equal to time search in the TLB plus time to bring the new page table from the memory plus time to access the memory. Time to search in the TLB is 5 nanoseconds. Then time to bring the new page table from the memory is also 100 nanoseconds because the memory access time is 100 nanoseconds. Then to access the memory to bring a data also 100 nanoseconds. So you have to add all these things you will get 205 nanoseconds. So the effective access time is TLB hit rate into hit time plus TLB miss rate into miss time. The hit rate is 0.8 hit time is 105 plus miss rate is 0.2 into miss time is 205 that will be equal to 84 plus 41 that is equal to 125 nanoseconds so the correct answer is d it is 125 nanoseconds now let us see another problem consider a paging hardware with the tlb assume that the entire page table and all the pages are in the physical memory it takes 10 milliseconds to search the tlb and 80 milliseconds to access the physical memory if the tlb hit ratio is 0.6 the effective memory access time in milliseconds is dash the options are a 120 b 90 c 120 d 118 you see all these are given as milliseconds we can directly apply the formula because it is easy to remember the hit ratio is given in the problem that is 0.6 then time to search in the tlb is also given it is 10 milliseconds then 1 minus TLB hit ratio can be calculated. Then time to access the memory is equal to 80 milliseconds. And the time taken to bring a new table will also be 80 milliseconds. So the effective access time is 0.6. That is TLB H is 0.6. Then time to search TLB is 10 milliseconds. All are given in milliseconds, so you can directly add no problem. So 10 plus 80. Then here 1 minus 0.6 into time to search in the TLB is 10 milliseconds. Time to bring the new page table is 80. And time to access the memory is also 80 milliseconds. So if you solve all these things, you will get 54 plus 68 is equal to 122. So the correct answer is option C. 122. Now let us see another problem. The hit ratio of a translation look aside buffer is 80%. It takes 20 nanoseconds to search TLAB and 100 nanoseconds to access the main memory. The effective memory access time is dash in nanoseconds. The options given are A 140, B 90 c 120 and d 118 so you can use the same formula here the hit ratio is given as 80 percent so 80 by 100 is 0.8 time to search in the tlb is equal to 20 nanoseconds it is given then time to access the memory is 100 nanoseconds that is also equal to the time taken to bring a new page table from the memory so the effective access time is hit ratio 0.8 into the sum of search time plus access time that is 20 plus 100 plus 1 minus 0.8 that is the miss ratio into time to search the TLB plus time to bring the new table and the time to access the memory. So that will be equal to 96. This is equal to 96 and this is 0 0.2 into 220 that will be equal to 140 so the correct answer is the option a 140 if the content of this video is useful please press like button and share to your friends or students who are studying engineering